Shout out to the WTC Ministries. We still chosen if they accent. Be proud that you independent chosen ones. Nobody controls the leader of the pack. They doubted a real one. Let me break it down to your chosen ones. Be happy that God made you independent. Be happy that God made you single again. Because now, guess what? You have all the time in the world to go get what's yours. You have all this free time in the world to worship God. You have all this free time in the world to get up and get to this bag. Let me tell you something. You ain't got nothing holding you back. You ain't got nobody setting you back. I never seen so many people frustrated about being alone before my life. Understand what I'm saying? And as I look back over my life, when I was in a relationship versus when I'm by myself, I realized I can do bad all by myself. I don't find peace. I don't find joy by myself. I don't find happiness all by my lonesome. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. You have to be very careful because guess what? You had so many narcissists in your life. You had so many control freaks in your life. They wanted to control your every move. They wanted to make it seem like they was higher than you or above you instead of working with you. You better thank God that he has separated you from these Decepticons. You better thank God that he separated you from these narcissists because they was really trying to destroy you. And God's been trying to tell you all along while you was by yourself, you belong to me and I belong to you. And as long as you got me, as long as you got King Jesus, you don't need nobody else. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, as long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. God got a plan and God got a vision. And sometimes God needs you to be by yourself in order for you to conquer these plans and these goals and these visions he has prepared for you. Sometimes God needs you to be by yourself. You got to be strong to be alone. Haven't you noticed a lot of people are dependent on other people? Whether to take care of them, whether to love them. A lot of people are afraid to get out here and do it by themselves. A lot of people are afraid to start over by themselves. A lot of people are afraid, amen, to get out here, amen, and get to this bag by themselves. But let me tell you something. That's why the Bible says many are called, but very few are chosen. And haven't you noticed the majority of the chosen people in the world are by themselves? Haven't you noticed some of the richest people in the world are by themselves? You know why? Because they suffered with Christ by themselves. So they're going to reign with Christ by themselves. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. As long as God got my back, as long as God tells me, I mean, don't tell me, depart from me, I never knew you. I'm going to be good. Because you got to realize we came into this world by ourselves, chosen ones. Guess what? We for sure got to leave by ourselves. Don't you be afraid to go up out of here. Because let me tell you something. God's been blessing you. God has been keeping you. Hey Amen. God has been restoring you. God has been opening up the windows of heaven and he's been pouring out blessings for you. Understand what I'm saying? You have nothing to complain about. Enjoy your independent life right now. Enjoy being single. And if anybody asks you what's wrong with you, how come you acting like that? Just tell them I'm not interested. I'm just enjoying Jesus right now. If people asking you and trying to, you know, get up in, in your skin and say, why are you acting bougie? Say, I'm not acting bougie. <laughs> I just, I'm just falling in love with Jesus. I don't got time for your fakeness. I don't got time for the phoniness. I don't got time, amen, amen, to be trying to get, you know, get with people who's not on my level anymore. I'm taking off. I'm pressing towards the mark. Excuse me. Uh, uh, get out of my way because guess what? I'm getting ready to take back what you guys have stole from me. Haven't you noticed, chosen ones, when you're by yourself, when you're unbothered, this is when people will begin to question you. This will be people will, will start to show fake love towards you. But let me tell you something. You don't need them. You never needed these people. You never needed these people. Because you made it through the fire and the storm and the rain by your lonesome. And if you are afraid to get to that promised land by yourself, what's the whole purpose of going through the pit if you ain't going to enjoy the palace by yourself? 
What's the whole purpose of licking your own wounds? And now that you're finally healed, you want to bring some people that, to come with you. And guess what? They weren't even a part of your healing process. You trying to drag everybody with you. Let me tell you something. Everybody can't go. God put you by yourself for a reason. Because greater is he that is in you. And it says greater is he that is in you and your family. It says greater is he that is in you. Than he that is of this world. All former things have passed away. God made you a new creature. And you afraid to, to ride this journey by yourself? You afraid to get this paper by yourself? You mean to tell me God gave you another chance? God was the one that saved you and you afraid to get out here and get it by yourself? You know where people coming from. You know people's intentions now. God gave you clarity. God gave you confirmation. You better run with it. You better run like Forrest and don't you look back. I don't care if your family say, wait for me, Forrest. Wait for me, Forrest. You better be like Forrest. Forrest, he, he must have heard him, but guess what? He kept on running. And you got to learn how to run for your life. You ain't going to never get no opportunity, no chance like this again. Because these opportunities don't come in a lifetime like this. People wait for a whole lifetime for a moment like this to be independent, to really take off with no stress, with nobody bothering them, with nobody using them, with nobody, amen, stabbing them in their back, with nobody, amen, blocking them from getting to their destiny. People wait a lifetime for a moment like this. And you sitting up here crying because you alone. You sitting up here crying, hey man, because guess what? Everybody walked out on you. Guess what? They walked out on you for a reason. Because guess what? They can't go to where God is getting ready to take you. I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying this journey all by my lonesome. I don't know about you, but I'm getting to the next level all by my lonesome. I don't know about you. As long as I got King Jesus, I'm not depending on nobody's help. So I'm here to tell you right now, put all your trust in the Lord. I'm here to tell you right now, take off and don't you look back. God gave you the freedom. You the one that got away and you telling me you trying to go back to where God has rescued you from. You the one that got away and you meant to tell me you want to bring some people, amen, that never liked at you in the first place. You the one that got away and you trying to go back to how people are living right now and you the one that got away. God gave you the key to prosperity and you afraid to go get what's yours by yourself. God didn't make you chosen for no reason. Don't forget, God chose you for this mission. You have to learn how to accept this mission, accept it, do the will of God, and keep on keeping on all by yourself. Because guess what? You was by yourself in the pit. You might as well be by yourself in the palace. You was by yourself sleeping in your car by yourself. Guess what? You might as well be by yourself in your new two-story mansion God's getting ready to bless you with. What you gonna do? Cry because nobody in there with you? You better enjoy every bit of the blessing God is getting ready to bestow in your life. Understand what I'm getting ready to say right now. Do you understand the words that's coming out of my mouth, chosen ones? You are free. And people got the nerves, amen, to, you know, try to criticize for what you're doing or try to, you know what I'm saying, or try to bash what you're doing because guess what? They got a life full of drama. They got a life full of children. And they want to tell you, oh, well, you don't got this many kids or you don't got this going on with your life and you don't got this going on with your life. Sweetheart, guess what? You chose to have those many kids. My brother, you chose to live that lifestyle. Understand what I'm saying? I didn't even ask for this and God still chose me for this mission. Don't hate because God chose me for the mission. You'd be surprised how many people will be jealous of the fact that you are independent and you're doing it out here on your, lo on your lonesome by yourself. People are so codependent on other people. To me, if you're so codependent on other people, you already lose value to me because guess what? I got it out the mud by myself. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, get like me. I got it out the mud by myself. There's something about getting out the mud by yourself. There's something about, hey man, doing it by yourself, then depending on somebody else to make it. 
These people don't have your anointing. These people don't have your talents. These people don't have your spiritual gifts. So they're going to criticize your every move because they're not making boss moves. They depend on somebody else to take care of them. Well, you find your calling, you found your niche, and you found, you know, what you love to do. Then go find out what you love to do. You'd be surprised how many people want your calling and they want your anointing until they ain't tried it. And guess what? They just don't got it. You got the it. And you afraid to be by yourself, chosen ones. Understand what I'm saying right now. And you'd be surprised how many people just don't like you because of the simple fact you got the anointing. And guess what? They trying their hardest to get it and come to realize, guess what? They don't got it. Because some people got it. Some people are trying to get it. And some people just need to stop it. And they need to stop it. That's what I'm telling you right now, chosen ones. Be very proud that you are independent. Be very proud that you by yourself. Be very proud, amen, that, that, that you, you, you are so much more wiser now. And you are so much better now. Look where God has brought you from. And now this is how you know you have made it to the next level. When nobody else is around you. It's lonely at the top. I don't care what nobody say. It's lonely at the top. You know why it's lonely at the top? Because everybody can't go to where God is taking you. That's why it's going to be lonely at the top. That's why you got to enjoy this by yourself. That's why you got to be proud that you are independent. You free. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Go in peace and get to this bag. Go in peace and get that next level up. Go in peace and raise that credit score. Go in peace and get to the next level of your life. Because you belong to God And guess what And God belongs to you And if it had not been for the Lord Who was on your side You would not be here to this day You done tried it with people already children. You done tried Amen to work things out with people Guess what It just don't work out If it don't work It don't work Stop trying to reconcile with people Because things don't work anymore Chosen ones, we are meant to ride this journey by ourselves. We are meant to be independent. We are meant to ride this thing solo bolo because guess what? We got the we got the it, we got the talent, we got the spiritual gifts, we got the anointing. We don't need people to get to the next level. We don't need to beg uh, uh, other people to get to that next currency because our character is already our currency. Don't you be afraid to put the counter blow. As I know you don't like me, but guess what? My character is my currency. I know you got a little bit of help over there, but let me tell you something. My character, amen, is the one that opened doors for me. My character is my currency. Don't you be afraid to put the counter blow. Congratulations on you getting married Congratulations on you Amen in your new relationship But let me tell you something I'm in love with Jesus Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below My single chosen people And say I'm in love with Jesus And he's the best thing that ever happened to me let me tell you about falling in love with Jesus. You begin to be so much peaceful. You begin to be filled up with so much joy. You begin to be filled up with so much love and unconditional love. You begin to be blessed and, and, and super, super naturally blessed. When you fall in love with Jesus, Jesus going to give you first class treatment for the rest of your life. When you fall in love with Jesus, Jesus is going to give you what your heart desire. When you fall in love with Jesus, guess what? He going to give you everything that the devil stole from you. That's when you fall in love with Jesus. Understand what I'm saying, chosen ones. And if God is for you, can nobody be against you, chosen ones? You got to be strong to be alone. You done made it through the fire, you done made it through the storm, you done made it through the rain, you done made it through heartache and pain, and you telling me you ain't trying to get these blessings by yourself? You mean to tell me you ain't trying to get to the next level by yourself? You mean to tell me that you're going to continue to be codependent on somebody else in order for you to get this next blessing? Devil, you a liar, and the truth and in you. I can do all things through Christ, which gives me the strength.
I went from working in the gym without having a spotter. Now I am a personal trainer and I did it by myself because a stranger seemed the best in me. Not family, not friends, but a stranger seemed the best in me. And now I'm a personal trainer. You know why? Because I did it by myself. People want to do good, chosen ones. People want to be like you, chosen ones. We are here to make people better. We are here to make people stronger and wiser. This is why I could never, ever get some of my, you know, so-called homies or my so-called friends to come at least work out with me. Because you know why? They already know once I reach that full potential, it's over with. So I said, you know what? I'm going to just go by myself. And look what God did. He made me a personal trainer. Somebody I don't even know from a can of paint see the best in me, see the light in me and ask me to be their mentor, ask me to be their personal trainer. God will open up doors where doors are being closed in your face. God is your provider. You ain't got to worry about these people out here. God is your provider. I went from having no spotter in order to be in the spotter for somebody else. Don't you tell me what God won't do. When you're not compatible with certain people, guess what? You're just not compatible with them. Everybody is not meant to go to the next level with you. And people, I'm telling y'all, you wonder why you're following out with people. You wonder why, amen, God put you back by yourself. He gonna keep putting you back by yourself. Because guess what? He wants you to go by yourself. So don't you tell me what independency what won't do. Because I know what independency can do. Can do, excuse me. God made us leaders, not followers. And you'd be very surprised of how all these narcissists, amen, these ex-narcissists that was in your life, they was trying to control the leader and God made you the head and not the tail. You'd be surprised why certain relationships didn't work. You'd be surprised why certain uh, relationships, amen, certain marriages, amen, fell off. Because guess what? One person was trying to be better than the next person. You can't control the leader of the pack. You can't control the anointed and the appointed one. God appointed me to do this. God appointed me to lead. And the minute you made a mistake, guess what? People doubted you. They doubted a real one. Don't you be afraid to put in comments below and say you'd have doubted a real one. You don't underestimated the real one. The minute, amen, uh, um, certain money wasn't coming in, certain auditions wasn't working in my favor, you'd be surprised how people was acting. When I had to go back and work fast food, understand what I'm saying? You'd be surprised how people was treating me because I couldn't even provide for them like I could, like I used to. But let me tell you what God will do. He will turn a nobody into somebody special right in front of everybody that doubted me. Enjoy being independent. Enjoy being by yourself. Love on yourself. How can you love somebody else if you don't love yourself? How can you take care of somebody if you don't take care of yourself first? How can you be there for people if you can't even be there for yourself? How can you encourage somebody if you're not encouraging yourself? Being independent, guess what? It comes responsibility. A lot of people think, oh, because I'm single, I can do what I want to do. No, you still got to hold yourself accountable to what God wants you to do. It's not about you anymore. God has given you all this free will. He's given you all this time. What are you doing with the gift that God has given you? How many souls are you drawing to the Lord? And you complaining about being out here by yourself. Get out here and get to this bag. Get out here and get on your grind. Get out here and do what you need to do to get to that next level. Because as long as you got King Jesus, I promise you, you're going to soar with no support. You're going to win without a team. And you can do all bad all by yourself. You've been doing bad by yourself. What's the problem now? We still chosen after yes.